I'm Bruce Hodges and I'm president of the Leather Stacking Railway Historical Society and the Cooperstown and Charlotte Valley Railroad. I was actually one of the uh, charter members of the organization when we formed back in 1982 and uh, we had two primary purposes. One was to protect the Little Red Caboose in Oneonta's Neobaw Park where the Brotherhood of Railroad Trainmen was founded. And the other one was to start a railroad museum. So we found a, a property at the end of uh, the Cooperstown and Charlotte Valley Railroad, uh, about an acre and a half, and it was right where the interchange is with uh, the old Delaware and Hudson Railroad. And we decided to buy that, and we thought, well, maybe we'll pick up a mile of track or so. And uh, we ended up buying the entire 16 miles of railroad. And that was back in uh, 1997 that we bought the railroad, and we've been running trains since 1999. The railroad was built uh, and completed on uh, the first actual revenue train ran on July 14th of 1869. So we're celebrating 150 years in 2019. So uh, we've got all kinds of special events planned for the day. We've got a steam locomotive coming in. It'll be the first time steam's run on this railroad in probably 25, 30 years. So we're excited about that. Um, all uh, special train going up to uh, Cooperstown to commemorate uh, kind of recreate what they did back in uh, 1869 when they opened the railroad. We're going to have a little golden spike ceremony, which they actually didn't have in 1869. But we're going to do that uh, with uh, some of the local politicians uh, in Milford and then uh, run the train up to Cooperstown. And uh, back in 1869, one of the big things they did is they shot off a cannon, which we've got a cannon to shoot off. And they were ringing all the church bells in the towns that we went through. So we've got that all arranged. So. We're going to try to recreate it as closely as we can uh, to what happened in 1869. We're just very pleased that we were able to save this little piece of uh, New York State history. Uh, if we hadn't bought the railroad in 1997, it would have definitely been scrapped out. It was uh, uh, already slated for abandonment and it would have been all ripped up. And we're just glad that we saved this uh, for the uh, future generations to enjoy. And we just love having people come out and share our passion for railroading and uh, enjoy a beautiful ride in the upper Susquehanna River Valley. Thank you.